Okay, we started. All right. Okay, hello everybody. My name is Henry. Welcome back to my podcast, Funny Thoughts. I have another guest here with me today. She's a time friend uh, from LA. Her name is Alejandra Garcia. Hello. <laughs> hello, everybody. Do I, do I have to say I'm like really bad at <laughs> do, you, do you want to say something? Do you want to maybe tell them what you do or okay. maybe how we met? Okay. Oh, sorry about my English. It's not, I have been here in LA for five years and my English is still like fucking horrible, but it's okay. Um, I'm from Chile. I've been in LA five years. I met Henry in New York Film Academy because we are actors. <laughs> and we start our, our relationship as friends and Henry's fucking awesome. Uh, we get we got this uh, distance uh, because he moved to Boston. I had a boyfriend and then I didn't have a boyfriend and we move apart. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, a lot of things happen in, the, in between. So um, we got this like distance, but I don't know. I always remember you like having fun with me, like being like a really, really cool friend for me, being there always. So yeah, I will always appreciate that. Yeah, and I was always <laughs> trying to correct your English, remember? <laughs> yeah, I, I was like putting my makeup today and I was like, dude, I remember that time that I was because I I don't I don't know how to say it. Yeah, uh, the 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 difference between choose and and choose. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, zapatos and elegir. You know, choose. choose? choose. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah, I remember perfectly. Like I I don't know how to say it. <laughs> you know, before this, I was trying to think of all the Spanish that you taught me, and. Uh, I remember a couple of it. I remember, um, I don't remember what it means, but it's like, no me vas a dar un beso. No me vas a dar un beso, yeah. Yeah, like, what is it? You won't kiss me? Oh, Do for, you, uh, because when we used to say goodbye me? to each other, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> because American people doesn't like get kisses. Hugging kiss or on the cheeks. Hugging yeah, yeah. kisses, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. And I remember you singing Pasito, Pasito. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Those are. <sighs> yeah. You know, the, the funny thing, I knew I was going to do this show. I was going to be talking about things that are embarrassing, but I didn't know <laughs> it would be embarrassing until it's in front of people. <laughs> oh, I used to, but it's yeah. not embarrassing. Why? Uh, no, we used to love dancing. It was fun. Yeah. It was. I don't dance anymore. Like after this pandemic, I feel like I haven't danced in like. Phew. I went to Palm Springs uh, okay. one week or two weeks ago, and it's everything is open here right now, so clubs are open again and everything. So oh, we went to a club. Where Where are you? Are you in LA? The area? LA. Yeah. Okay, so LA is open again. Yeah, everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, Boston's the same way. Yeah? Yeah. So I went to this club and everybody was dancing and I got in it and I was like, dude, this is, is it weird. weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, because everybody was dancing like, like, like before, there was no virus. Before yeah, yeah, pandemic, yeah. you know? So what? I was feeling so weird. I don't know. Subconscious, you know? Like, don't don't get too close. Yeah. <laughs> so I danced for a little bit and then like I start to feel my heart, you know, like cardio way. And I was yeah. this is an exercise. And I used to do it, like a lot. And now it's like, dude, I have to get to back to dance and work out and everything because my my body is like just lazy, you know? Yeah. Have you not been working out at all during the pandemic? I or? do, but it's not as you know, I have an elliptical. Okay, yeah. But it's it's it is not heavy, so it's it's not enough, you know. And oh, I you want some weights? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you tried doing like push-ups or? 
I mean, push-ups are really. I do one. I do one, and I I can break my face. So no. Well, <laughs> have you? Well, what about trying it on your knees? You know, or. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I I do those sometimes. Yeah. Yoga. Okay. <laughs> oh, I started doing yoga again too. I Did always. You? Yeah, I used to do yoga a lot before going to LA when I was in the military, but then I stopped doing it. Just because I got lazy, but yeah, I I like yoga. No, yoga is nice. It helps you keep like mobile, but it's also you know some of the positions can be hard to hold, so it's still a workout. Yeah, I remember you going to yoga with me. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that class and Nico too. And Nico too. Yeah, well, geez. it was just the three of us, right? I think so. And then, um, damn, I forgot his name. Remember that Filipino, my my roommate, uh, Damien. Damien. Oh yeah, my he, god! Yeah. I think he came a couple times. Yeah. You're not in contact with him. I haven't talked to him, Damien, in, I don't know, maybe over a year. Oh, when I left the apartment, I contacted them to tell them like, hey, look, our apartment's finally closed. And, that's and he's, where is him? Um, I mean, I don't want to say too much about his personal life on here, but uh, he he's he's not in America. He's somewhere better, I think. Ah, oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Then he I know was where I know where apartment? he is though. I no, he I wasn't paying for the apartment. I have him in Instagram. I yeah. So. Um, yeah. No, he wasn't paying for it, but his name was still on it. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I was still living there, so it was still our name. And then, you know, Shandell moved out, and then Damien moved out, and then it was just me, and I had to get new roommates. And boy, did I not like my roommates. No? No. Why? Just, uh, well, I mean, have you ever had, like, bad roommates before? Fuck yeah. Yeah, and it's just like, well, these ones, one of them kept, like, uh, lowering the ac because it was hot but he he didn't like paying the money for the bill so i'm like we have to pay this whole bill together and he, he kept bringing it down and he was also late for rent and i was just like oh my god uh, okay he was like irresponsible yeah uh-huh yeah i understand roommates yeah it's um uh, it's terrible but i i have good roommates now that's good but yeah, yeah. How's that going? Good. Well, I'm moving to Spain. When? <laughs> in one month, in August. Oh, shit. Yes, I'm leaving LA after five years. Why Why Spain? Uh, my boyfriend's from, from Spain. Okay. The Spain. Yeah. And, well, I've been here, um, well, I've been with him for three years already. And, um, like, I start, well, after the OPT, you know, for acting, I did, I start going to, like, I did an associate in business administration. Okay. Just to keep up with the visa. Yeah. Not because I was interested. <laughs> just to stay, you know, <laughs> yes, and I... have a visa and everything. Um, so, I finish now. I will finish in July, in the middle of July, I think. I, I I get my graduation degree and everything. Yeah. So I can apply again for the OPT for that, but like I don't want to. You know, it's like I don't want to keep up with the visas and yeah. do another visa and another OPT and another student visa. It's it's it gets tiring sometimes. Yeah. So is is it different from you going to Spain then? Like, no, because I I'm from Chile, but I I have the double nationality, so I'm from Spain. I have both nationalities. Yeah, did you tell me that? I don't remember that. My well, my grandparents are are from Spain. Okay. So I get to have the passport because of them. Oh well, so then you yeah. can just live there. Yeah, I live in, oh, sh- in any in any city of Europe. Well, that's cool. I can live in Belgium. In any city? Um, is that, how does that? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, because the, your passport, your 
European passport from either if it's from Spain or Germany or wherever. Oh, because it's, it's the, the EU, right? European Union, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that makes why. Sense. So I can work and live wherever I want. Yeah, I guess that's kind of like here. You go to America, but then you can still go to any state. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So I'm moving finally. <laughs> yeah. So I'm living in LA, but I'm happy, you know, because some for some reason I felt a little bit um, stuck. 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 In LA. Like I'm not moving. I'm mm -hmm. not moving forward. You know, yes, I'm yes. just. Yeah. Because like I am an actress, but I cannot get work as an actress. But everybody's working on something, you know. So it, I don't know. I just want to be legal, to be working, and and doing the things that I want with no limits. You know. Yeah. Can you do? Is there a lot of acting in Spain? Yeah. Yeah. Money haze. You don't know money haze. The series is super like famous right now well it was like one year ago yeah what is what is it it's the show money haze yeah it's la casa del papel but yeah in english it's the money haze oh. it's the netflix i stopped watching netflix i don't know why i still well i'm on my brother's account i still have it but i, I just i don't know why i can't sit there and watch a show it's so weird. Why? You should watch this. It's really good. I mean, I started to. I talked to uh, my friend a while ago or last week, and he told me to start watching, um, uh, what's it called? Love, Death, and Robots. Do you know about that show? Mm. Oh, it's, it's pretty On short. Netflix? So it's a, like a sort of cartoon, but for adults and uh -huh. animation. Um, yeah, it was a pretty good show. It's just really short. They're like 10 minutes each and they kind of oh, describe okay. like, I don't know, the world a little bit, but I think I think it's slowly getting me back into Netflix, you know? There is a lot of good programs. Like, I'm not, I'm not like, I don't watch things every day. Yeah, you know, but for example, when I exercise, like in the elliptical, it gets boring sometimes. So I just yeah, play. So um, yeah, I'll say I watch something, uh, or during the night sometimes, or like roommates, uh, things to do. Okay, we watch a program to get a program or series together, or a movie or whatever, you know. So, yeah. but you should. It's fun. <laughs> How how's the weather right now in Cuff? I can see it's kind of windy behind you. It's windy. The thing is like this shit. <laughs> I yeah, I can hear it. it keeps. It's really like it doesn't stay. I don't know why it moves er like everywhere and uh, wherever. It's cheap. I have to sell it now. <laughs> yeah. Well, cause here, oh you. Yeah, it's windy though. Yeah. Is it still I hot? Very warm. Yeah, it's. I don't know. Well, I know in in Celsius, but not in Fahrenheit. Yeah, you can. I I tried to learn it. I still like. Really? Sort of know it. Yeah. Now is well twenty five. It's not that much. Yeah, twenty five. That's like seventies, I think. Seventy. Yeah, something how like that. I, how can ah here I can change it. Like seventy. Seventy. Seventy seven. Yeah. Well, I was off by a lot, but almost, almost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah, it's warm. It's warm. And are you planning to move to LA again, or are you staying in Boston or where? What? Um, I mean, I definitely don't want to stay in Boston. Mm -hmm. I don't really like being home, but at this point, right now, especially because of the the pandemic, I I had to come back or. Because all the jobs that I was trying to get in LA, um, mm -hmm. I got fired. Well, not fired. I got let go because of the pandemic. Yeah. And then uh, there was no acting for a while. So, and I had no savings. So I was like, mm. yeah. yeah. Uh, but wait one second. 
you know that uh, now that everybody is having the the how do you say this employment is unemployment unemployment yeah the unemployment like a lot of people is trying to hire like a lot of business is trying to hire and nobody wants to work because they are having this this unemployment it's crazy yeah like I mean, cause... the uber the uber uh, price it's insane in comparison with like if you think before pandemic yeah uh, now it's like three three times more Wait, because to... nobody's doing uber oh to use an uber to use an uber because nobody's doing, no, no, nobody's driving Ubers because they are having unemployment, you know? Oh, yeah. And for, if you go to a restaurant, like they are, you have to wait for one hour or two hours sometimes to get the, your plate because they don't have enough uh, people in the Servers. kitchen. Servers, yeah, yeah, workers. It's, it's really weird. So I think if you come back to LA, you for sure will have a job. I mean, yeah, I, I think I, I think I would, but uh, and I have a friend who said he'll let me stay at his house, so I could. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, going through this pandemic, it, it really um, it put my life into pers perspective, you know, uh -huh. like I learned a lot, a lot about of myself. people. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, I'm working on how to want to work you know i don't know how to like want to get a job yeah i'm i'm the same i don't like being managed <laughs> i don't yeah. like that yeah, it's the same thing i don't it's like uh i don't know what it is i think it's a feeling of like um well for me sometimes it goes back to how i felt like i wasn't helped at all when I was younger, so I had to do everything on my own. Mm -hmm. And so like when someone else is like, tell me what to do, it's like, no, I already know what to do. You know, it's like, you don't have to tell me what to do. And uh -huh. yeah, it's weird that way how, cause I've had so many jobs and even when I was in the military, it's just, it's like, just do, just let me do my job. I do it yeah. very well and, uh -huh. and leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, having a boss is, you have a boss. <laughs> so yeah, it's I, I don't like it either. That's why I, I the thing that I do sometimes is for example now I'm opening my own um uh, sportwear store. Okay, cool. <laughs> like in, in Chile? Spain? Oh in Chile. No, in Chile, yeah. Okay. Uh so because my cousin is she's doing like online Pilates. Pilates? Pilates. Well, yeah. I just gotta say for now, uh, there's a lightning storm going on. So, if everything just shuts off, uh, okay, it's okay. Yeah. I will text you in Instagram. Yeah, I'll just text or you I'll to say like I'm, a, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. But sorry, you were saying about opening a store in Chile and um, yeah, because my cousin, she, yeah, or cousin. Uh, she's a Pilates instruct in instructor. Yeah. In, but online, you know, it, it, she started with the pandemic also, and um, she's doing really well. So she wanted to to open a, a brand for clothes brand, and I was helping her for like for her Instagram and everything, how to like get known as a Pilates instructor and everything. Yeah. Um. And so she said, like, I want to open this. And I was like, dude, I can help you. I can, like, we can be partners, business partners and everything. And she was like, please, you know, like, let's do this. And I was like, yeah, for sure. So it's crazy because it's like, it, it's a lot of stuff that I never thought that I was, I was going to do, you know, like, we yeah. had to open, um, how to say like uh, open a, a company in chile mm -hmm. yeah, yeah we have to sign up for like the logo and the brand and everything yeah copyright uh, and copywriting and all that with a lawyer signing <laughs> i'm here in la so i'm signing everything like online thank god thank yeah. and 
like talking with Chinese people in China because of the clothes, you know. Yeah. yeah. It get I I talk with the Chinese people, so it it gets really funny sometimes because the um, Alibaba is the is the the website and the website translates you everything. Okay. So I speak in Spanish or I speak in English and the the website translate everything in English. That's uh, cool. Well, sometimes it like they don't get what I'm saying and sometimes I don't get what they are saying. It's like okay again, <laughs> you know. But yeah, it, it's like it's an adventure. I'm having fun with it. Yeah, it's good to see that you're like you said you're moving, you know, and not stuck and yeah, like, trying yeah. not to be stuck is can be pretty hard for well, at least for me it is. I'm stuck. Well, sometimes. Yeah. But. Well, I I get you. I was that I was like that like two years ago maybe. That I was not not comfortable here. I wanted to move, but at the same time I didn't have the money, and I was not do, like I wasn't doing nothing. And my mind it was off, you know. Yeah. I couldn't handle it. So and I had this anxiety. Like, do you remember that I, I used to have like a lot of anxiety and panic yeah, attacks? Yeah, panic attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And do you still well, have those a lot, or? Well, n not now because I'm taking pills. Okay. Like like Zapro, you know. What 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 like, pills like are you Zapro? taking? Like Zapro. Like Zapro. In in. I think it's like Zapro here. Hmm. Well, okay. it's like and see, it's uh, for anxiety and depression. Yeah. You know, so um, I was like that for like two years ago, and I was having like a lot of anxiety and everything, and so I started me meditating. And doing oh, yoga I, I'm, and everything. I'm gonna start meditating pretty soon too. I just got a a little meditation cushion, like cool. a little chair. Like, yeah, you should. Like the thing for me is that uh, I started meditating with this. Uh, I bought like a class, meditation class or course or whatever, and I had to meditate for every day. You know, in the morning or in the, during the night. Oh, twice and, a day. But it was 10 minutes, you know, okay. so it, it, it was OK. And then it, it will be like more or during the night it was like 20 minutes and then 30 minutes. And then I finished with that, with that month and I felt like really like this is helping me a lot. So I bought another course from the same girl. Is this on YouTube that, or? No, it's a, like, I pay for it. it. It's from the girls from Chile. Oh, OK, OK. Um, oh, do, do you know who it is? Maybe you can, you know, shout her out to the show or something. Maybe it's uh, the name is Ombocado. Oh, how, do, like how would you? Om. O M V O V A. Wait, hold on. Let me write it down. Maybe I'll put it in the. Yeah, I'm really. I will. I will text it to you because I'm like shit. All right. Yeah, that's you. Because I can put it down in the link below oh, for oh if anyone God. is uh interested. Yeah, from Spanish. Oh, okay. It's Spanish. Yeah. Un bocado. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And um. And then I started the other course. Course. Curso. And um, I start to meditate alone, and then one day I was meditating, and I was I I for like two months I had this in my mind like I wanted to teach something like online, you know, and I was like, but what can I teach? You know, I didn't know what I can I could teach, so I was meditating, and and suddenly I don't know like in my mind. Like everything, I don't know how to explain it, but the thing is like something came to my mind, like a class that I could do. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it was about casting, you know? Oh, I, I think I saw that on your, you did a little bit on your Instagram, right? Or I do it. I do it every month for, yeah, yeah. for people in Chile. 
and and it's cool you know because it's something that i know mm -hmm. that i really know and um i can help people to chile like from chile to know about this stuff that nobody teach you in chile and it's it's really nice you know but that idea came to when i was meditating yeah um you know I like white. yeah it's i mean because yeah i mean i started smoking weed and when that happens that's when i get those thoughts too it's like because you, you're so into oh well i guess for me when i smoke like i don't think about well are you okay everything yeah <laughs> like, i don't want it to fall on you or anything but um because when i do like i don't think about all the stressful things outside you know i don't think about my anxiety i don't think about my depression i don't have any of those you know sad suicidal thoughts or anything and then it's just all these these ideas and you come up and like oh that's a i should do this i should do that and ever since i started therapy too um what made me realize is that i love i keep saying this but i love stories i love hearing about people's lives and mm -hmm. uh sharing it with others because you know what you just told me you know maybe i have an audience member who's from chile and they want to find out about audition classes now they found uh -huh. out you know and, or about the omukado mm -hmm. and yeah, I, I understand where you're coming from, where ideas just happen like that. Because when you're when you're stressed and or when you're sad, all you think about is all the bad stuff, you know, like and yeah, it, it takes a while to get over that. And yeah, and, and for me, the, the worst of the anxiety and the depression or, or all that together uh, is that when you get an idea like an awesome idea or whatever idea when you think that you will do it it comes all that thoughts that no you can you cannot do it you mm -hmm. you're you're not enough you yeah are, you're, you're not you good know, enough like, you know you, you won't like, put in the work you, how will you do that like who will buy your shit who will listen to your shit like you know and it gets really like okay i'm not i'm not gonna do it because you know so okay. i remember the first class that i did i got like five people yeah and i was like well at least it's five people you know <laughs> and it's it. nobody you know yeah so and then it becomes better and better and better and then with the pandemic i started doing like, like doing it online and it got better you know so it's you have to cross the river. I don't know. Yeah, how yeah. To, no, that's, know, that's a good example. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. I I think for me, what what I try doing is, uh, you have to be able to invest in your future. You know. Yeah. Like you, you gotta keep putting your one dollar in, your one dollar in, and eventually, you know, you're gonna be putting a hundred dollars in. And yeah, when I like when I first started this podcast, I think I first started it at the beginning of this year or something like that, maybe a little bit before. And I did it by myself, you know, and but when I was doing it by myself uh, before the therapy, like I, it was just sad. And, and I think remember when you reached out to me and when you one of the episodes, I think it was like, I need help or something. And I did need help. I still do. But. And then you reached out and you're like, you're not talking as happy as you were, you're you're talking slower or whatever and and when i was doing that i had the idea right because i was smoking i had the idea of doing the podcast to get my story out there and but then when i was thinking about it it's like who wants to hear a story about you know like a sad boy who's just sad like he's not trying to improve himself or he is but he doesn't know how and he's just complaining and complaining and I was like, mm. no one's going to watch the show. And I think I had a couple of my friends listen to it, but it wasn't, um, it's like you said, I wasn't grateful for that one person. You know, yeah. I wasn't grateful for the two people that were listening. And, and then you don't, because you, it's not the numbers that you want, you kind of just like, oh, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. So you just 
Throw it aside. There's a book that I've been trying to read. I haven't read it yet, but it's this book. Oh, I don't know it. Is it? But is it good? Well, I haven't read it yet, but from ah, okay. from, from what I know about it, it's it's always called the thank you economy because you you want to be thankful for every single person you get, and the uh -huh. more people you're thankful for, then you know. It's kind of like, oh, look, this person helped me. Maybe they can help and like more. And then you'll eventually get more and more. And it's basically just being happy with what um, what you have. Yeah. You know? Even if you have five well, people all the time. That's then... what life is, you know? Sometimes it, we live in this society that put us this pressure that we have to be successful. We have to get money. We have to get the couple. We have to get the house and whatever. And it's a lot of pressure, you know? Yeah. And it's not true. It's just, it's not true. Yeah. I, I have seen people who live in Narika or who live in like really small cities who have their like a shitty car, like a normal house in France and they have fun and they go out and they have like a really normal job, you know? Yeah. And they just enjoy life because they live in a small city where you can go to your house if you want to have lunch because it's really near from your job. And then you go back to work and then you go out to your, with your friends and then you start the day the next day, yeah. you know, and that's it. Like you just and live nobody, life. Yeah. And you just live life, you know, and go through it with happiness and whatever you know so yeah. i think it's uh, more in the big cities or yeah in the united yeah. states for sure but mm -hmm. in the, more in the big cities the everything is about successful who you are what do, what are you doing and what, what are your contacts and things like that that yeah. is like that's not the meaningful thing in, well in that's the, that's the thing the life, because you know? well as you know in america the dollar runs everything yeah and i know <laughs> yeah, that's that's the problem. But then it's also like that's that's like why everyone likes to come here because you can you can make your own money, you know, and you can make your own life. You don't have to follow a certain set of rules or anything. Well, I, I don't know what other countries are like, but from what, what I know, like America, we yeah, we're quite stubborn in some of our ways. The thing is, like American people. It doesn't like didn't go outside like they mm -hmm. don't want to go outside and they don't know that outside is awesome yeah because you we know? think it's just usa and <laughs> it's a lie it's a lie it's a completely lie you know because it's overrated you i know? think so too it's but... super overrated and the, the, just i think that the best the best thing that you can have it, that for me, the American dream, you know, for me, the American dream is having my payment or I mean, like my job mm -hmm. remotely, but earning in dollars. Yeah. You know, for example, I earn three thousand dollars per month mm -hmm. and I live in fucking Philippines, yeah. you know. With three thousand dollars in the Philippines, you are God. Yeah, you are God. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you can manage to do a business like drop shipping or wherever, whatever job you can do, and move to Philippines or move to Costa Rica or move to places that are cheap to live, yeah, and paradise. <laughs> Like you can live your life. Yeah, I think a lot of people are starting to go towards that route, even some yeah. companies, because a lot of people, especially during the pandemic, so many families moved out of the city and moved into, you know, further away because they can do their work yeah. at home. They realize that you don't need offices to run papers and mm -hmm. and now that they're out there and not in the cities it's they're more happier you know because there's no For sure there's no stress so it's the same thing and i yeah 
I think that's why a lot of people are trying to get on the internet stuff too. Well, I know I am because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> well, but at least you are doing something. Yeah. There's people who is not doing nothing and just waiting. So whatever you're doing, it's enough, you know, and then you will jump to another thing and then another thing and everything will move. Yeah. What, That's what, the thing. what do you talk about on your, um, I guess, what, what do you help teach in your audition classes? I teach, okay, give me one second. I, I want to go for the lighter because I want to smoke so bad. Yeah, and I sure, can sure. bring the lighter, <laughs> but I will run and I can speak to you because I'm with AirPods. airport. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was like, I was just going to have to talk to myself to the camera for <laughs> five minutes. No, I can still be listening. I don't know where the lighter is going. Yeah, so you're auditioning. Um, yeah. How, how well, many classes that, have you held already? Well, like 13 or 14 already oh 14 classes yeah wow are you are you making a good amount from it uh well in dollars not that much okay <laughs> but I, I mean for but... chile it's good oh oh because you know you're doing the classes uh, yeah, in chile yeah. right yeah yeah uh-huh yeah it's in chile it's not is it is chile and california the same time what do you mean like, are you, is it the same time zone? Like, you know how we're no. different times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's different. It's, um, I'm coming I think, back. Uh, I think it's, it's the same time as Boston. Like, three hours Chile, ahead? Chile, it's three hours ahead from here. In yeah, so summer. Yeah, but, just opposite season, yeah. Yeah, but in winter, it's five hours ahead. What? Because it's one hour less here and one hour more there. So it, instead oh, of three, wow, it goes that's five. So weird. Yeah. <laughs> that's so weird. So uh, I'm. The thing is that I took one class today about like the same thing that I teach in Chile. I took the one the same like the same class, but in Spain because I'm moving to Spain. So I wanted to oh, know, you, like, you taught I, Spanish people. No, 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 no. I, I have my class. It's mm -hmm. casting se prepara. Like you prepare your casting. Let let's call it like that. Yeah. <laughs> you prepare your casting. That's my class. The okay. one that I teach online to Chile. Yeah. To people in Chile. But I took one class from a girl from Spain because oh. as I'm moving there, I wanted to get to know a little bit more how the things are going there and like uh, agents and representation and things like that yeah so i took the class and they charge a lot like they charge like uh 150 per session or yeah it was um, through um, two classes uh, two mornings like three hours the class okay it's Six not hours. That's not too bad. No, it's not too bad, but yeah. it's Spain is it's not uh, United States, you know? Yeah. And for in Chile, I charge like nothing. Like I charge for person. It's one class. It's five hours. Uh -huh. and it's, uh, in dollars, I think like 50 bucks, something like that. 50? I mean, 50 yeah, dollars. it's like ten dollars an hour yeah you know it's but the thing is this from chile i don't want like i don't live for that money you know it's like i have that for like getting drinks or going out <laughs> or whatever yeah. you know, but i want to buy or things like that but anyways like i i thought about it and i was like i should charge more <laughs> like, i mean if why not like I think I people say, like you know, charge what you think you're worth, and yeah, I the thing is like paying that and taking that class from that girl that it didn't have. I have she has she has two classes, yeah, two different courses, and uh, I pay one that was one fifty, and the other one it was like three hundred, mm -hmm. and I didn't pay that. 
but I was looking at it and it's the same thing. I, I teach everything what she's uh, teaching both in two. I yeah. teach in one session everything. Yeah. You know? So what, what, I, what I read somewhere about that is that, um, so if you're teaching the same thing, right, and you're charging lower and she's charging more, the, the thing is with some people, right, um, this is like, I think the psychology of marketing or something. I don't know. I didn't study it that well, but from, from what I read, sometimes when someone sees a higher price, they think it's more premium. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, so, I totally know. Uh -huh. But the thing is that I, I, you know, you know me, you know, I, you know, I, my family like support me a lot and I, I don't have like money problems at all, you know? Yeah. So the thing is that having that, I feel like I have to get back something to, to Chile, you know, because I am, I'm an actress from Chile who has to leave my country to get more opportunities to learn more because I'm, I'm lucky. Yeah. Because I had the opportunity to have it. Not everybody has it. Yeah. So that's why I teach that in Chile and, and I don't want to put it more expensive because just because I want people who is really like talented, yeah, get to have works. And in Chile, like nobody wants to pay artists, you know, like the culture is not really, I don't know, it's not good. So, no, but that's that's a that's a beautiful way of looking at it because that that's that just shows how you know um, how grateful you are for your situation and that you're empathetic towards other people's situations. You know. Yeah, that's the thing that I I know a lot about about casting and everything, and I can compare with these people that charge a lot and everything. But at the same time, it's like if I want to improve something in Chile and and someday come back to my country and getting like no knowing that the industry is growing and looking at the actors that they know how to do a headshot and how a headshot know how to do their reels know how to like uh get jobs and talk to people like like secure people you know like mm -hmm. I'm enough you know, do you remember like Lee always say like you're enough? Yeah, I mean, I, I try uh, to remind myself that all the time, especially during therapy. <laughs> That's the one thing I talk to him about all the time. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And a lot of people nowadays is having those problems. Like they feel like they are not enough. And it's because of Instagram and people showing that that awesome life. That yeah, the awesome life. Yeah, I, I talked about. Yeah. It's a ongoing subject. Yeah, it's but it's true <clears throat> and every but it's true and everybody knows it, but at the same time it you you get trapped on it. Yeah, it's no? yeah, I tried to explain it to my friend yesterday and it's like it's so hard to not live with it because it's so part of our lives right now on how you how compare fast, it to people. Yeah, how fast life is going, you kinda it's like if you don't go that fast, then you just feel like, ah, oh, shit, you know, and yeah, it's weird. Because even now doing this, right, I guess the, I'll, I might have to go back on social media to try to make this even bigger. I want to try to do it without it, you know, word of mouth is pretty good, but still, like, <sighs> I, ch I try to, I try to use it, but not, like, not go on it, you know what I mean? Don't see another people life. Yeah, just like pay attention to what I'm doing. Yeah. Who cares about their car? Who cares about the house? Like as long as yeah. I'm doing what I love to do, then it should be good enough. Yeah, for sure. Like I, the things that I like about your program, for example, is like people can relate some in some part what you're living now, you know? Yeah. You you are having this like depression and you are you are going to therapy and everything and it's not it it's brave from your like from your perspective you know 
I, do you understand? Me? <laughs> yeah, no, I do. It's it's, it's brave, uh, you know, being being nobody, vulnerable on. Yeah, nobody yeah. does that. Everybody is like, no, I'm I'm cool. Like even me, like I take like Sapra because of my anxiety because I I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't get in an Uber because I got this anxiety that I have to get out of the car. I couldn't drive because I get like I felt like I was I was gonna pass out. Um, so at some to- point I said, okay, if I want I want to move forward with my life, I have to do something. So I went to the psychiatrist and I told all my story and everything, and yeah. they say, okay, take this pill, like Sabra for six months. Because I didn't want to take it before because I thought it will be uh, bad for my acting. Yeah, you know? I've I've taken uh, any persons before and they just gave me headaches. So yeah, f- f- the first month. <laughs> yeah, like these you, migraines, like oh. The first month I was like falling asleep everywhere. I I remember for because I started taking it like six yeah. months ago. Well, okay. And for the first month, I remember I had um, we we went to a a friend's a house friend's house a friend's house a friend's house, 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 house uh, to see the the Super Bowl. <laughs> and I arrived there at one p.m. something like that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, dude, I I have to sleep. I have to sleep. Like I was like falling asleep everywhere and. I, I told my friend like can I go to sleep to <laughs> <laughs> a little nap and to to I don't know I was like for for real like terrible for one month and then I'm like back at me like I feel myself again I feel yeah. the the ale that I always was but for a long time I was like off oh, you know yeah yeah is is there a reason why you decided to do um to see a psychiatrist instead of a psychologist like therapy because, versus medicine yeah because uh i went to therapy like two times and i didn't like that you know if you have a good uh, psychologist it's good but if you don't find the right one it's awful it, it can get worse yeah one of my cousins she's a she's a uh, like a counselor or something and she she I think talks to people and then recommends them different psychiatrists and she was telling me when I first started it's like you might be like shopping around for a therapist for a while but yeah so far my first one he's been pretty he's been pretty good so far but the thing is it there is something like I I was with panic attack and, and anxiety for like long time for I don't know I think Five years before I start taking the pill, and I did everything. I did yoga. I did meditation. I I read I read books. I I I tried to go to the psychologist. I, I tried a lot of things. I acupuncture. Yeah. Like acupuncture helped me a lot. I can I can say that it helped me a lot, but it helped me for I don't know five months and then again, mm-hmm. you know. And with that, because I didn't have depression, the, the only thing that I had is, is anxiety. And my anxiety start because I had something in a taxi. Do you remember that I told you? Uh, uh, well, it was a taxi in Chile that I, nothing happened to me, but I started to have panic attacks about that. And so then I couldn't go to like inside Ubers or taxis or but then it is start growing you know you i think the name getting worse agoraphobia agoraphobia or something like that yeah and that you are even scared of going out from your house oh yeah yeah yeah. like just even leaving uh, like a safety yeah 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 and even if i go to a party i start to get super anxious and it was terrible it was it, it wasn't life like terrible 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 so you know i like drinking i like partying i <laughs> like going out i like everything and i i had to stop because i i felt like terrible 
So at some point I was in Chile this summer. Well, winter from here for here, summer in Chile in December, mm-hmm. and I got to uh, I got to I went to in in my Uber with a friend. Uh, and I was I was with a friend, you know, in the Uber, and I couldn't handle it. I started crying, 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 crying. I, and my friend was like, "Dude, you are with me. Like nothing will happen to you." And I was like, "Dude, I can't." Like, and the 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 trip was like half an hour. Mm-hmm. It was the the worst experiments of my life. So after that, I say, "Okay, this has to stop. I can't." You know. Mm-hmm. So I call the psychiatrist, I call everything, and, and he say, Ale, this is easy. <laughs> you don't even you don't even have to go to therapy because you already know everything that has happened to you. Like everything I knew because I, I studied about it, I read books about yeah, it. You were I, I knew self-aware about it. Some people I knew yeah. everything because therapy, what what was my therapy? I start doing the things that I was afraid little by little, you know, but I couldn't do even that because of the the anxiety of getting anxiety, you know, it's yeah. the fear of getting fear. Yeah. So the, the psychiatrist told me like, you don't, you don't need therapy. You need this pill for six months and, and you will be okay. Are you and still now taking it? I'm, I'm now in the, the last box. Okay. Of, uh, you know, this is my my last month. Yeah. But as I'm moving to Spain, uh, I don't want to stop taking it because I'm moving and it's a lot. Yeah, it's you a know. change. Yeah, yeah. It's a change, so I I won't stop taking it for I don't know until I feel that I I'm in Spain and I'm okay, and then I will stop. But like. I tell the people because there is a lot of people who is afraid of meds, mm-hmm. like taking pills and everything. And I'm like that. I don't. I don't like pills. I don't take Tylenol. Tylenol. I don't take anything, even if I have a headache. Any vitamins at all? No, I don't take uh-huh. anything. I I don't like it. But the thing is, like, sometimes you have to, <laughs> you know. Sometimes if if you don't want to. Because I know people, for example, this girl from Ombocado, the the teacher, the meditation, yeah. the meditation teacher, she used to have uh, anxiety and everything, and for sure she went to an island. She started to have money because of her courses, and she's living in Costa Rica and living her life, you know. And of course, if you start having your relaxed life having money just uh for meditation and things like that for sure you will be okay yeah you know yeah it's and, it's it's hard for people to find what they need yeah for them to help and i think yeah the great thing what well at least I'm, what i'm trying to do is find out all the different ways that can help and hopefully you know, whoever's listening, they can find out, oh, I didn't try medicine yet or I didn't try meditation yet. And yeah. hopefully, you know, as long as we can help one person, I think I'm OK. For sure. And for me, it was five years, five years trying everything, everything. Yeah. And then I say, OK, I will take meds wherever, you know, it will not be forever. I have a friend that has OCD and depression and anxiety and everything, and she has to take that pills forever. Yeah. Like forever, you know. So for me, it's not like that. It's just like at least, well, maybe one year. Okay, one year in my life, it's it, it's nothing, yeah. you know. So I will be okay. <laughs> well, I'm very glad to see that you're in a very good spot. Um, yes. Is there anything like anything else you'd like to talk about? Maybe you want to plug your show again. Um, maybe your Instagram oh, or. My Instagram is Ale Belen. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll put it in the description below. Yeah. Um, and um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Should I say something? <laughs> Whatever you want. You, you should say something. You should tell me something. Tell or, you something? Are we are we finishing? Like we have to end this com- this conversation. I'm having fun. I uh, know we don't have to. <laughs> I usually keep the shows about 
an hour, but uh. um, I think I, I like keeping it as an, as an at an hour for now because I don't know if anybody's listening the whole way through. Like, uh-huh, okay. this this could be my mental thing of saying like no one's gonna listen to a three hour thing, no one's gonna listen to two hours, and mm-hmm. um, I I feel like an hour at least for the show is good, and then. You know, we'll, we'll we'll see how it goes from there. But if anything, I can just stop recording the show. I can end the show and then we can just keep talking. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. I have a class at um, at five, but I have one more hour, so it's okay. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, let's just let's just try to keep the show going. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, wherever, should... if somebody wants to watch it, wherever you know. Yeah. That's. I think. Yeah, that that's probably my my mind, uh, like my anxious mind is like no no one's gonna listen to this anyway. But I think yeah, I have to think of how how good this is for me, how good this is for us. You know, just being able to reestablish our friendship. And, yeah, for sure. And I don't know. It's like I think a lot of people can relate to this conversation. Like I I'm. I'm sure about it. You know? Yeah, yeah. What I was telling one of my other friends, I, I, I was gonna have her on the show, but she decided not to. Uh, but she got embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I think she just didn't want anything personal out there yet. Her. Oh, okay. Um, but what I was trying to. Oh fuck! I forgot what I was gonna say. What you were talking about about with this friend? Yeah. Uh, something about. Yeah, getting these stories out and. Yeah. Oh, I know what I was talking about. So the reason why I decided to do it with uh, like a lot of my friends first, um, well, because I don't have any like celebrity friends yet or anything, but the what I like about doing it with people I can relate to, let's say I do the show with you and they see it on my Instagram, but maybe some of our other friends see this and and then they look at it, you know, and it's sometimes people just want to see a familiar face you know sometimes yeah. um or people who don't know how to ask for help or people who don't know how um don't know where to start on getting help they they can see a familiar face and hear a, a relatable story and you know hopefully that will help them um start to slowly realize that you know, ev- everyone has their struggles, you know, and there are ways to fix it. Well, not fix it, but For make sure. it better, you know? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Like, everybody has problems. Yeah. Like, nobody has a perfect, maybe Kylie Jenner, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, they got problems, but they're different talk problems. To her, but yeah, the thing is, like, everybody has problems. Everybody. Everybody. You know, and the mental problems like the people don't talk about it that much, like at all. Oh, you know what I want to ask? How, so yeah. w- when you started, um, I guess your process of getting better, you said you tried like therapy, uh, all these other things. So what was the first thing you tried? OK. Uh, when I had my first panic attack, I was in my home back in Chile, in, in my parents' house. Yeah. And mom used to have a panic attack, and my brother also. So when I went to my mom's bedroom, I said, like, Mom, I'm going to die. There's something like that. There's something wrong with my heart and blah, blah, blah. And my mom was like, no, you're having a panic attack, whatever. And she t- it gave me a pill. I mean, that's very she nice that pill. she knew what you were going yeah through. she knew yeah. she knew she totally knew she, some people here like, are just like Dude. what are you doing get away you know and yeah no she was like you are having a panic attack take this pill and she grabbed my hand and stay with me like for one hour or whatever i don't know i don't remember because it was terrible so after that i my mom say like okay you should go to therapy uh so you can tell them that you ha- had this thing in the taxi so you are afraid of taxis and everything and i say okay so i went so therapy was my first option yeah and i didn't like it 
like the the therapy was terrible. <laughs> so, and how, how many uh, how many sessions did you do? Or? One, okay. but in the first one, what she told me is like, oh, I had the worst histories. You know, it didn't have nothing happened to you and things like that. And I was oh, like, so she was. Are you a fucking? Like, yeah. Are you really a like psychologist? Like you are getting me worse. Yeah, and I was... stand up and I left. I was like, "Mom, this is the worst." <laughs> yeah, that's that's. I don't yeah, think that's terrible. how therapy works, but yeah. So, well, it was a long time ago, and then I think I I say, "Okay, fuck it, I'm going to be okay." And I had to move to LA because I, I did. Do you remember that before we met, I did the the eight year, eight week program in New York, New York Film Academy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You told me. So I had to move to LA because of that program. Mm -hmm. So I say, fuck it, I'm going to go to LA and I, I will be okay, whatever. And for that uh, that time, I was good. Like I didn't have panic attacks. I was perfect. And then I. Why do you think I, that is? Why do you think you had no panic attacks? I I mean I had, but I will take a pill and I will be okay. No? Oh, so you had pills with you? I medication. had, but the 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 medication for when you are having a panic attack. Okay. You know, uh, it's I don't know the name in English, but. Like clonazepam, something like that. The tolepram. Yes, the pan. Mm, I don't know it, the name. Because I I took something like that, the so tolepram. It may it may be something totally different, but it gets you sleepy and relaxed. Okay. So I I maybe I had three something like that, but I was good with it. I was like whatever. I know what it is. So fuck. It. Sounds like you an know? ambient. Mm, I don't know. And then um, I came back to Chile and I signed up for the one year program where I met you. And uh, I don't know, I had this great, great experience with the, the eight, eight week program. And then the class that we were in, <laughs> I didn't feel like was good enough or I I didn't feel that comfortable with, with the people, whatever, you know, you, like maybe it, it, nobody noticed it, but I didn't feel like comfortable. Do you remember what one time that Lee, I don't, I don't know who asked, like who will win the Oscar and Lee say Alejandra and everybody was looking at me like, oh, Lee was, was that the uh the lady right yeah yeah oh i didn't like her either she no okay, no yeah. i was okay i i was okay with her like i was, was i was okay with the class uh-huh lee was the one who always say like you're enough you're enough you're enough the acting teacher was i in that class with you why don't, why don't i remember her what does she look like i don't want to say it she was big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I remember her. Yeah. Oh. I, I I didn't have problems with her. She oh, she's I good, did. but but the thing is that um I wasn't comfortable with the class with our classmates. Oh really? Not with everybody for sure. for with that with, with you, oh, me. I think, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. With yeah, yeah. some of them, it, it was weird, you know, and yeah. I started the relationship, the, yeah, yeah, with this person, and um, I don't know, everything started to get like really with problems, like jealousy, yeah, it got, it got really like that. weird, like, yeah. it got really weird, you know, really weird, and. I don't know. I I wasn't feeling myself. I I I wasn't prepared for that. I thought it would be like the my my other class, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah I mean, because you remember like the first I don't know month or two, it was like oh yeah, you know everyone's excited, yeah. and, and then you, you kind of realize that you know now you're sort of stuck to these people, 
and you have not really any other choice well at, at least in school yeah and oh i think were you there when i had that problem too with um that one girl yeah i don't i still don't even know what the fuck happened <laughs> that's the craziest part i like i i look i reflect back at life all the time of all the things i did wrong and or how i wronged people but that's the one thing i was like i don't know what the fuck happened but beyond that i i understand what you mean by yeah when, once you're there and you start to slowly like when that happened it was like me you uh and then like three other people and it was just us like us five and everyone else kind of like did their own thing and sometimes they would come in and out but it was like yeah you start to see how people are with people and yeah it's just like holy shit mm -hmm. i understand why so many people have anxiety because of all these like weird toxic people vibes. And you don't, you don't know they're toxic vibes. yeah yeah so i wasn't in comfort zone i wasn't feeling like i was growing or learning more or whatever i felt like stuck again you know and um I didn't came to LA from like another country to feel that that way to mm -hmm. not be doing what I love what, because uh, other side is that and in the eight weeks program I was filming all the time with the filmmakers and our schedule in the one year program we didn't have a, like whatever they want they wanted to film we were in class and it was really like okay so i'm not filming and th for that year we didn't film like anything yeah i think we filmed know? what maybe two things or something yes maybe. and it was really frustrating for me i was like dude i'm okay i'm learning i'm i'm having practice and that's perfect for actors because of course we have to be training you know but on the other side to be filming i wanted to have more footage to get in my reel or wherever and and i was doing anything like that so yeah. i was like and then i do i do the opt and then what you know well that's when you kind of realize that look there were there were some great teachers there but that school is kind of <laughs> it's kind of a scam it's expensive for no reason. The classes, yeah, but the some of the classes like, aren't good. Yeah, I I didn't like the one year. I always I will say that the eight weeks program for me was awesome, was really good. My classmates were really good. Uh, the we were always film, uh, doing projects with the filmmakers and everything. But for the one year, no, like. Yeah. no way I, mean, I will not come back to that yeah as you realize like most of the students were international or veterans it was actually yeah. people who like can sort of afford the school there weren't really any like regular americans i would say mm -hmm. you know and because yeah. i don't think a, a regular american would pay that much money to be in an acting school like it's yeah. Un unless it's like Juilliard or yeah, uh, like a really famous one. But New York Film Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I don't know the experiences of the students in any other school, but um, yeah, sure. Continue about uh, anxiety in classes. Uh, well, and then yeah, that happened. And I had my pill, so whenever I had a panic attack, I will take the pill or whatever. But at some point, after breaking up with this uh, person and like getting to know more people, going out of that circle, I start to know more people and blah blah blah. I actually met my my boyfriend, my actual boyfriend. Uh, my and, actual boyfriend. <laughs> and uh, and everything started to get better, but at the same time, I felt stuck because I couldn't like get a job like a real job like for as an actress for the visa and everything like that and I, I couldn't get like a real job either so I wasn't doing nothing I was just spending money in this country that is not cheap at all you know so 
it start to get me again, again, again. And so I start meditation. I start to do acupuncture. I start doing yoga, more exercise, Pah, a lot. Well, what but made you think time, about approaching those? Like, let's say it wasn't working, but what made you think about doing uh, like acupuncture? Acupuncture? Mm, like, did you just read I about don't know, it? Or? Just, just reach, like searching on the internet, like what it will help me for my anxiety or. Okay. Yeah. I think just search the internet. Yeah. And you, you did know? say acupuncture worked for you a little bit? Yeah. How, how, did, how does acupuncture help? <laughs> you know, <laughs> okay. I, don't, I don't fucking know. But uh, it, the thing is that, for example, when you get a lot of anxiety, sometimes you're looking at it in the physical way okay yeah your your muscles start to yeah, they, get really more tense. really tense so with the needle you get that release so you feel more like comfortable with your body i believe okay and it's there is a science behind acupuncture yeah. that i don't i don't i don't know i i i haven't read enough but there is a science with like behind that and i believe that uh this um not medical or how do you say occidental medicine <laughs> uh i think i forgot what they're called but it's it's sort of like chiro uh chiropractic too it's it's not it's like non Fuck, i wish i knew those no called. like not traditional medicine it's not traditional medicine you know it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. homeopathic or i don't know yeah but it's more natural and i don't know i don't know about the science behind it but it helped me a lot like for six months i was like perfect yeah you know so did it so. from the sounds of it it just helped you like just relax your body and maybe that <laughs> Maybe that's what just people need, just to relax their body and, or. Maybe the, in, a, in, a, in a part, yes, because I start to have this, uh, how do you say, bruxism? Uh, when you sleep with your, your teeth. Oh, so yeah, you, yeah, like TMJ or something. I yeah. have that too. Oh my God. Uh, me, me too. And all like having neck pains and back pains and fatigue and yeah. you don't yep. feel good you I know? know all that yeah so i don't know it just helped me and the thing is like i wanted to get like i what i wanted to come back to me like as soon as possible i i was like this desperate you know i i really want to be okay so i i tried different things i I stopped smoking cigarettes for a while. I, I yeah. try a lot, <laughs> like going vegan or I try a lot of things. But vegan, how did that go? <laughs> Terrible. Okay. Not even a week. I tried going vegeta vegetarian for a month too. I was like, nope, sorry. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, I know. No. Even I, I eat really healthy, but no. I, for example, I had lunch and I had meat, <laughs> you know, so sometimes I go more vegan, but if I want yeah, to eat I think it's more hunger, about, I will know, it. learning how but, to balance. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know where, where like, what was like my, my steps, you know, mm -hmm. but... How did you know something was different? Like you said, you wanted to be your old Ale, right? How did you know that you weren't the old Ale? Because, you know, uh, when you are growing up, you, your parents or whatever, the older people always say, like, with, with the age, you will be more worried, more more worry about life you will be more mature and everything mm -hmm. and of course you're more worried and more mature of everything but at the same time i was worrying but i was worrying too much that that too much it couldn't i couldn't uh 
get out of my house. I couldn't drive. I couldn't get in an Uber. Of course, those things were not normal. Yeah. You know? So when things, uh, when you are not having a normal life, like when there is things in your mind that doesn't let you have that normal life, like going out yeah, of your house or having the things that you used to always do. Your normal. Having fears or going out alone or yeah. going to the supermarket or things like that that are super simple. When you're having problems with that, I think that, of course, there is something wrong with it. And panic attacks, that's a different story, of yeah. course. But there is a lot of people who have anxiety that doesn't have panic attacks, but it's, it's anxiety, you know? Mm -hmm. So it, it is not normal. Um, like the, a lot of people talked about anxiety like everybody has anxiety and blah 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 and now it's like normal having anxiety dude it's not normal having anxiety it's not and and we we shouldn't normalize this because it's wrong we you are losing years of your life i mean it i think it depends on the intensity of the anxiety it's it's good to be anxious for some things like uh like i was anxious to do this but i think when it yeah, yeah it's the I, stress of the moment the yeah, yeah. stress of the moment but not living in stress not yeah going, not, not, not when you can't sleep. get out of the mood like you you yeah. know you yeah i think it's what people uh sometimes have a hard time doing is being self-aware of what's going on and i mm -hmm. i think like a lot of people now, they know they're anxious, but they don't know, like, how bad their anxiety is. Because they, because mm -hmm. like you said, everyone kind of just says being being anxious or having anxiety is normal. And let's say you're somebody who's having crazy panic attacks and someone says, it's okay that you're having anxiety. It's, you know, there are different levels of anxiety and it's, it's unfortunately I a human thing, but... Uh-huh, but at the same time, it's okay having anxiety. You can talk about it for sure. You yes. should talk about it. I think you should it. talk about it, yeah. You should say it. But at the same time, let's not normalize this. Like, everybody has anxiety wherever, you yeah. know? No, there is something wrong with society that is making us all anxious. Yeah, well, and it's mostly when self you realize, you, you When you realize what is with society that that's a bigger topic um you are realize that okay yeah that's why i'm having anxiety yeah you know and, you know hopefully for anyone out there listening you know just just try to put a scope on how bad your anxiety is and hopefully for you sure can. if you for example if you you cannot go you cannot sleep you are not having a good sleep if you cannot go out like a normal person would like will like going to the shop or getting to, into your car or uh, i don't know things like that just I doing sort of regular routine things about. yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. especially with the sleep thing like i i oh uh, today i was so off right because i didn't i didn't I don't know what the heck happened last night. I was just sitting there watching. And the next thing I know, uh, it was like 4.30 in the morning. I was like, what the fuck am I still doing up? And like, you know, I, I, I haven't been sleeping well for a very long time. So for me, that's normal, right? But the, the self-awareness, like, I don't, I don't think that's really normal to be... Um, you know, being more awake at night and at sleep. I mean, they say like people can be nocturnal. I mean, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a scientist. I'm just basing it off of what I, I have know a theory. Actually, but, I have okay. a theory because about I'm like too, sleeping or about people who is uh, uh, nocturnal and people who is uh, okay. morning people. Sure. Uh, the thing is that what time did you born? Uh, I think my mom said like 8.30 in the morning or something. You should be a morning person. I mean... If, I, if I'm right, because um, 
I, I know, like, I have been doing this for, like, one year already. Yeah. And every time this topic comes, I say, people say, like, I'm a morning person. I'm a night person. I work morning. I, I, I work. I function more in the afternoon or in the night, blah, blah, blah. And say, okay, what time did you burn? Bear, born, born. 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 And they say at the time that they work better. It's yeah. crazy. I don't know why. Well, I mean, but... it's, it's true if I think about it that way because... I, I've been I've been in the dumps for so long because I haven't been my morning person. Because I remember when I was in the military or when I was in school. Well, sometimes. I remember you being a, a morning yeah, person. Yeah, whenever we're early class, like, I mean, look, I hated getting up. I hate waking up. Yeah. Um, but, like, once I get up and start getting in the flow, it's like, okay, let's fucking do this. And, mm-hmm. well, I'm actually just really glad that you reminded me of that. And, I gotta. <laughs> I think I gotta try that. It makes a lot of sense now that um, why I have been so out of funk for so long because I haven't been, you know, sleeping at my normal time, at my normal time, not the normal mm-hmm. time. So yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a uh, yeah. I'm telling I, I gotta you, keep I go that to sleep mind. sometimes at eleven. I mean, like, at eleven I'm sleeping. PM. Yeah. Or okay, yeah. And then, I mean, that's how I used. To, I used to sleep like. All the time at like eleven thirty, I would be asleep. Yeah. and wake up at six or seven, something like that. But I I like to sleep, so sometimes I sleep until eight or nine, whatever. <laughs> oh no, I remember but remember those that... times at class where we we just walk to your house and we just sleep for like an hour and then go back to class. <laughs> yeah, that's how we know we I like sleep. I love to sleep. We all did that. We just like just slept. Let's go to sleep a little bit. Or your yeah. fucking room was. So hot, remember <laughs> that the oven? Yeah, I it's remember. Just, oh my god. Yeah. Foggy. Yeah. But it's I I believe that. And I I believe if somebody have their routine in the morning, like for example, you're a morning person. You should mm-hmm. do like a morning routine. Yeah, I you know. I mean because... I have a morning routine, but I I've been doing it at like 11 12 so it's kind of off. that's the thing yeah that's the thing that you should, you should uh do your morning routine at the time that you function at the time mm-hmm. that are good for you yeah so because on that period of time you are more productive yeah so you can do more stuff in your product productive timeline than the rest of the day you can just chill out or do things or work or things like that but but not exercising for example because if you tell me let's go to exercise in the afternoon or night i will say no because i can't i don't have energy at that time if you tell me let's do a hike in the morning i will do it i will go because yeah. i have the energy so that's the thing that like people should do their routine, like the productive things in the timeline that they have energy. Yeah. And for you, I believe it's in the morning. Yeah, because it's for me. Every every time I want to work out, I want to work out in the morning. You know, yeah, I because... whenever at night, I, I hate working out at night. It's so stupid. Well, for me, it's stupid. It's like I'd rather, <laughs> you know, do the hardest thing, I guess, in the morning. And then everything else would be easier, you know, and, and I think... It could be opposite for people. They they like to kind of take their time and then they extenuate themselves or work out right before bed, and that makes yeah. them good for the next day. And yeah, because it makes sense a little bit. My brother, he was born at night, and he he's fine, but he doesn't. But he stays up, you know, all night sometimes. Not all night, but till like four o'clock because in the morning. Sometimes they have that you know the time that you get ideas or the time that you are more active is at that time so that's why maybe sometimes you cannot uh, go to sleep because you have your mind on you know you know the theory is so funny because i started thinking about um so in the chinese culture we sort of had that too like what what time you're born and what your zodiac you know the zodiac Uh so i was born in the morning and i'm a horse Right. So that should mean that, you know, like horses, if they're up in the morning, they're working hard all day. You know, they're they're up early. They're a workhorse. 
and my brother he was born at night and but he was born on the year of the pig so yeah. he's like a sort of like a sleepy pig you know like he'll sleep during the day but at the nighttime he's just like oh shit you know i gotta do what i gotta do and it make it, it makes sense you know yeah i mean for me every time i i ask somebody it, it i get it right yeah I, I get it right for sure it i don't know why but i i like also you 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 say something about the chinese culture i know this thing about the uh, biological cl clock mm -hmm. do you know that yeah that ev uh, at every time uh, like for example from 1 p.m to 3 p.m something your body is restoring your body's uh, what re restarting restarting like reloading yeah yeah okay yeah for example, from one to three, your lungs. From three to six, your stomach. Oh, like a, from, some sort of internal system, body system. Yes. Okay. Do you know about that? I don't, but. It's crazy because uh, do you get, oh, wait, for no, example, I, if you. I did read something about that, that um, uh, I, I was just. I was just watching the podcast about this on uh, another podcast and he was talking about how you know how we were just talking about sleep and how our minds have a sort of clock and uh -huh. um yeah our our body parts they have clocks too like your stomach has a different clock your lungs your heart mm -hmm. they all have different clocks and if everything is not in sync that's when someone starts to feel you know not normal like if yeah. if your if your heart is supposed to be working from like eight in the morning to five, it should be working at that moment and not sleeping, you know. And uh huh. Or like yeah. your stomach is working only from you know whatever time and yeah. That's so. the thing. That's why they say like you shouldn't eat before. I mean after nine. Or after yeah, seven, I stopped eating like before that. like six. Six six is like the latest I eat now, or I try to. That's the thing because after that, your stomach is start to yeah, like, it's starting the process of the process of cleaning and things like that. And yeah, whatever you know. So when you have this headache and you have this headache at uh, this time, for example. I get every afternoon a headache. I start my headache at four. Okay. Every day. If Wait, is that something's true? wrong, no, it's not oh, okay. true. But it it happens to me for like some time, you know. Okay. And so I, it's if a very I get specific time. It's a specific time. You haven't. Or do you wake up at three p.m. Uh, it, uh, no, at three a.m. every night, and you can and you wake up at three and you see the the your cell phone is 3 a.m. It's like, what the fuck? Again, yeah. for one week. And then you, you move on, you know? But it's like these patterns that you wake up or you have this headache or you have this stomach pain or whatever. Uh, at the same time, it's because something wrong is going. In, if you see the, the, the clock that I'm talking about, it says like from this time... Yeah, it's Chinese bio biological clock, something like that. You should, yeah, yeah. no, I know. It's and awesome. so, if you see I what think. time, for example, for me at 3 a.m., I think it was the lungs or or it was the stomach, I, I don't remember. Okay, but I I start to waking up every every morning, every night at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. So I, I I see it. I saw it, and I was like, dude, this makes so much sense. I have been eating like shit, for example, this week. Yeah. So that's why I'm waking up. So and I start to make connections about it. Yeah, I think the more so now those researches I think are becoming more prominent, or I feel like they should be working on that kind of research on how our body system works on a specific schedule, and you know. Because we're humans, we like to indulge at night. We like to party and uh, we like to eat, you know, at random times. Because we know if we do these good things, it gives us the dopamine, you know, the good feeling. And mm -hmm. 
why not as humans if we can get that why not do it and it's as as good as that is it's i think that's one of the things that's you know harming us as humans is like imagine if you started seeing uh i don't know fucking lions and they started changing their routine you know you're like what what are they doing you know that that's not they will die probably. yeah well i mean yeah they, that's why most that, people that, who don't live a healthy life they don't live as long or uh, that's you know? the thing that that's why people start to have anxiety that's why people start getting sick it's because for example if you're a morning person and you are partying every day and you're not going to sleep so you don't you are sleeping in the, in the morning where you are like active your body is like what the fuck yeah and like, how are you supposed to work you know yeah. and we don't know how and to recognize those caffeine. thoughts yeah 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 it's, it's natural you know it, you, we should see our bodies like part of nature like yes as a i believe tree, that a tree if you don't put water and it doesn't get sun uh, it will die yeah and if you i don't know whatever like things have cycles the autumn summer winter you know trees are different yeah we I, are the same i started making so I was also thinking about, I don't know if this is a dumb idea, but I'm also starting to think about becoming like a comedian. Um, I don't know. That's just embarrassing for some reason. But um, oh. I started thinking about this joke about how, like, even though, you know, we have these big brains and we have all these cool toys, we're still, you know, animals. Like, we're still, we're, we're no... Well, I mean, we are different from other species, but we're no different than just a regular animal. Like, we eat, we uh, have to sleep, you know, we, we have to do things to survive. And the fact that over time, because we're so smart, we think we can, um, like, forget about nature. You know, like, but no, nature has been here way before us, you know. Way and, before. But the thing is, like, we are intelligent. We are not stupid, but society make us stupid. Yeah. That's the, the thing. Yeah. When there's too many dumb people, then, look, I'm not making fun of dumb people because I'm a moron too, but it's just, yeah, the society and how, oh, I was, another thing I wanted to talk about, my friend was saying that um, because, so our brains are supposed to be wired to send, send signals everywhere, right? To all uh -huh. different things that's why i think us storytellers we probably uh you know we live more creative lives because all of our all of our neurons are shooting around or yeah. people who are really smart they're always thinking of different things but because society over time uh controls the way you think you know so you can't you don't think about those other things because you think about, oh, when you think of this, it has to do this and it has to do this. And that's when it becomes a cycle and it's not good for us either. That's not part of our nature to be no. stuck in a certain way. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, that's why everyone, sure. when they say searching for happiness, I think it's searching for that open-mindedness again. You know, you want to be able to be able to take all the inf information you know and the for me the 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 searching of happiness it's stupid <laughs> yeah that's what you i'm saying shouldn't like, I don't... Be searching for happiness the, yeah. the happiness is a decision if you want to be happy right now you can be happy right now you yeah. know it's a it's a freaking decision it's like when you get mad it's your decision stop being mad well, I mean, I know yeah. some people, you know, it, it it can be hard to differentiate that. I'm not saying that's what you should do or shouldn't do, but, you know, I just want to acknowledge that there's some people who, because I remember a long time ago with me and, we, me and a friend of mine, um, we were having this conversation about work and I was complaining about, like, little things and then she started complaining about uh, what she was doing 
and I and I had this thought of like, you know, what do you think you're better than me now? And and then we started arguing a little bit, and and then later on, like I started realizing that I was I was an idiot or whatever, and I told her it's like I'm I'm sorry I. You know, like I, I don't. I'm just sad all the time, or I don't know. And she's like, just, just be happy. And when she told me that, I was like, I can't just be happy. Like I think because, you know, when someone, when she told me to do that, and I, I didn't believe that you could just do that because I was so, I was so far down that I didn't think you could just. Yeah, you know, I that know. Way. Yeah, I know say that it's your it's your decision being happy. But the thing is it comes to the basic things, you know? Sometimes we're in a in a place that doesn't make us happy, in a work that doesn't make us happy, in a relationship that doesn't make us happy, or whatever thing that doesn't make us happy. But that is the outside, you yeah. know? And for the inside, we need to look for those small things that make us happy yeah. but that the doesn't that have matter. to make happy yeah. another people you know for example i like to dance and i don't have to wait to somebody dance with me i should dance yeah, you alone just dance. in the morning when i play the music in the bathroom and get the shower you know yeah or things like that or um for example i like to eat chocolate with with french fries and that make me laugh because it's fucking disgusting for some people but i like it so yeah that's cool. i'm going to eat that it's like this make me happy you know yeah. or playing some song make me happy or sometimes you have to if you're in a party and you're not feeling happy because you don't feel like being with that people go to your house and do something that make you happy you know mm -hmm. yeah and things like that like some i i was like funny i was on diet so it, there is the small details that can make the difference in your in your day you know yeah because yeah, of course i i don't feel like our life is perfect nothing is perfect you know it's okay if you don't have your 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 perfect job, but there are things in your job that make make you happy, you know. Yeah. Or even if it's the lunch time, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So but I think what I was, what you're saying is, um, because I I I, I kind of believe what you're saying. It's you shouldn't be looking for happiness because happiness means different things to everybody it, and I think what people yeah. should be trying to do is learn how to be open-minded to you know different different things don't be so closed-minded on because this happened now this is going to happen no if this happened there there are different things that are happening and also instead of trying to look for happiness you got to look for how to be grateful for the little things you have you know, and I think once you learn to be grateful, that's when you can find out what happiness means to you, you know? Yeah. And great. Yeah. Being grateful is a big part of being happy. The thing is happy. You, it, happy. Happiness is a state. It's a state. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's, it's like someone trying to be angry. Constantly. You can't say angry. Yeah. You time. cannot be angry all the time, the whole yeah. day. You cannot be sad the whole day. You are in different states the whole day, you know? Sometimes you feel at peace, sometimes you get more anxious, sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're angry, sometimes you're sad, whatever. Sometimes you're hungry, or sad, whatever, you know? Like, you go through different emotions and different states during the day, and it will be weird just having one state the whole day. I mean, imagine something that is happy 24 hours. That will be fucking annoying, you know? So it's it's impossible. You shouldn't be looking for happiness. You should just enjoy or be grateful or being calm, you know? Yeah. You, you don't have to be happy eating. If you are eating your regular lunch, you don't have to be, oh, I'm so happy <laughs> that I'm eating, uh, I don't know, chicken. You know, you don't have to be happy. But you can be just calm. 
being grateful that you have food in your table and just eat wherever and don't think about it don't and appreciate the the time for for example there is a lot of people that watch tv while they are eating or see their phones while they are eating sometimes you just have to eat just enjoy your food that's good that's okay. good advice for me because every time i eat i'm always watching something and that's not good because you are not in the present you are not in the moment that's true yeah you're you're out you know for example we are having this conversation and we are all in we are just having this conversation i'm not looking at my phone i'm not doing anything else i'm you you have my attention you mm -hmm. know and that should be always because that's where we are the best of ourselves if we split if I, for example i'm talking to you but i'm looking at my phone i'm i'm not the hum, my hundred yeah. percent so if our mind if you are eating for example and you are watching your phone your your mind it's not hundred percent so you are not tasting the food you are not you 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 didn't you probably not know what you are eating what ingredients 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 have your food yeah you know so there is no point on living that way yeah that's that's one of the things i realized again it's it's so funny when in you're in therapy and or you're talking to friends like you know these things but it's it's always um it's always nice to be reminded you know of because like i know I'm at my best when I'm in the moment or when I'm just, you know, enjoying the now, you know, mm -hmm. and over time you, you kind of forget that. But then when someone says that again to you, like, ah, yeah, you know, like, and I think that's, that's what's been missing for so long for me. Um, I, I've been there, especially during the pandemic and for a long time, you know, I, I never knew how to like keep friends or you know even talk to people really especially like this but over time when i started realizing that if i just you know have this conversation with you but don't have expectations or you know not have any subjects that's what i was saying before it's like no let's just talk you know like this because even if we have subjects we might talk about something else yeah and um yeah just being able to be in the moment i think is another way of being grateful of like you're you're still alive right now you know at this moment you're alive and yeah you don't know tonight i mean i hope not like you know one of us can choke or something but it's just, <laughs> <laughs> sorry i don't mean to bring anxiety but i'm saying like you know just enjoy yeah, what you have yeah. now yeah one, I had one friend that passed out uh, last year before the pandemic, and it was what? crazy because he passed out, he died. Oh, okay. One Sorry of my friends. Yeah. yeah, here in LA, and it was crazy because uh, he was my age. He ride motorcycles, so uh, he, we. I remember we were in a not a party, but we were drinking beer with friends in a house. Yeah, and we we met him and okay, let's go to Vegas this weekend. Blah blah blah. Bye. See you. Let's talk tomorrow. Blah blah blah. Everybody went home. Next yeah. day, he was getting out of job, driving to her house, her his motor his motorcycle, and he had an accident and he died. You know, and for us was fucking crazy because. We were making plans for the weekend. We saw him the day before. It, he was getting promoted the next day. Like there, there was so there is so much things that we worry about the future because all the the last two weeks of his life, we were talking about: Are you getting this promotion? Are you getting it? Uh, like he was so worried about it. He was like, dude. I hope I will, like, I want it, I want to stay in LA, I love this, blah, blah, blah. And he was getting it, you know? And that's the thing, that just enjoy your fucking day. Just enjoy that you are alive today. Just enjoy 
that you can see you, I can talk to you I can be with my boyfriend I can talk to my parents uh, I can call them and FaceTime I can see my little nieces you know there is small things that we don't appreciate sometimes yeah. and it's fucking powerful it is it's it's always good to be grateful I think I think we all can try a little bit more for sure we all can <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I I think I will have to go right now because I have uh, yeah, it's the like meeting 15 minutes yeah and, um yeah I'm the teacher I will have to change my role <laughs> yeah that's so awesome I love uh, it's so awesome that you're just doing things you know or that we're doing things it's it's so beautiful to me that we can you know especially from where we you know where, where we first met and yeah. you know how we are and who knows what's going to happen in five years or so but look Ali I'm I'm very happy that you came on to talk to me today I would love to have you on again and talk later for me um, perfect I will be on on a Spain in Spain <laughs> oh yeah then I would love to hear all about that okay um is there anything yeah, else you sure. want to tell the folks or uh nothing I just feel like listen more of this conversation that you can relate like for, for the people not for you mm -hmm. uh yeah. my just talk sometimes but um I I don't know I'm just grateful for this moment and if somebody can relate to this conversation or feel like they think the same or they realize something during this conversation that's the big step you know <laughs> that's yeah, good yeah. you know so that's what life is and go out and enjoy your life that's it okay all right well thank you everybody <laughs> um again Alejandra Garcia uh your Instagram is what would you, you Ale say Ale Belen <laughs> Ale I'll, I'll, I'll post Belen. I'll post it down yeah. below and I'll talk about maybe Avocado. Um, but thank you again and thank goodbye you. to everybody and stay grateful. <laughs> bye bye. bye.